point, I'm going to call it confusion. So what was done but in that three weeks? Disappointment. We can't let situations like this have a lack of urgency. Or anger. We are pissing away money when we do not take care of business when we know it's there. Council members want answers on how Dallas is managing city properties. We can't keep making the same mistakes, and it appears that we are. Mistakes with properties like this building near Love Field the city bought for its building inspectors and then had to move out of after finding an inspection problem. Costs so far, more than $20 million. Or this city-owned building in the shadow of City Hall that fell into disrepair. Council members say 20 people started squatting in the space, causing more damage. Or another just disclosed, a city delay replacing the roof of a new homeless shelter that created such bad mold damage, it shut down the daycare there. I just can't imagine, like, if my kids were in there. The city says there's progress on some publicly owned buildings. Crews are working overtime Saturdays even to tear down the one behind me here in northwest Dallas. The city says a developer will eventually build a 400 unit apartment complex here, but it's not scheduled to be done for another two years. Things have fallen out of view and then they pop up as a big problem and that's not really the right way to run the city, is it? City staff say they plan to reorganize the department and make it more efficient. There's times we have to just pause and say, what went wrong? But answering that question, we'll have to wait. City Council delayed a full briefing on the matter until next month. In Dallas, Uncle Sullivan.